Hey everyone and welcome to your DIY embroidery kit by Embroidery Enthusiast. Today I'll be walking you through how to make this hummingbird floral hoop and I want to make it as easy as possible. So first of all, let me start with the supplies that you find in your kit. First you'll see this piece of fabric that has your design drawn on it. Next you have your practice fabric that's already inserted into your hoop. We'll use this to walk you through each of the four stitches that we'll be learning to create our hoop. The only thing that is not included in this kit that you will need is a pair of scissors. I have these purple craft scissors, I believe from Walmart. However, any scissors that you have around the house will do. We're just cutting the thread. You'll also find this needle. They are actually, I believe they're called tapestry needles, not embroidery needles, because I like to have this really um, large eye of the needle because I find it quite difficult to thread. For floss, I use DMC embroidery floss. I find it to be really great quality and it's easy to find. For these kits, I have already wrapped uh, our thread around a cardboard holder and put a number um, so that you can see which color goes with which number. First of all, we want to thread our needle and we'll go ahead and thread the floss through the eye of our needle and we'll just pull it through a little ways. Personally, I don't tie a knot at the end of my thread here where I've threaded it through my needle. However, if you do feel like you need more security, uh, you can tie a little knot um, and pull it down to the top of your needle. Um, I'm just going to tie a simple knot at the end. And I usually do double knot it just so that it's really secure. There we go, we have our needle and we are ready to start our practice. Our back stitch is what we'll be using for the outline of our hummingbird and some of the leaves um, throughout the hummingbird. So let's start. Um, I'm bringing my needle, I have it at the back of my hoop and I am coming up at the beginning of, a, of the line. Anytime you can come up at the beginning of a line uh, makes it a lot easier and I'll pull it through. So you see our knot keeps it in place. Then I'm gonna make my first stitch. So a stitch length um, can be different for everyone. The smaller that you make your stitches, so let's say I make a stitch pretty, pretty small like this, the longer it's gonna take. And it really just depends how um, small and detailed you want it to be. I'm going to come up Again, always coming up through the back. It's gonna be about a stitch length from where I went down um, to complete my first stitch. I can show you here. And this is where I go backwards. So I'm going to go back down in the same hole of my first stitch. And you can go ahead and keep practicing for as long as you need. Um, if you feel confident, we can uh, move on to our next stitch. Next, let's jump over to our satin stitch. As you can see, I have a lot more thread on my needle this time. I'm gonna come up from the back um, at the edge of one of my petals. Pulling my thread all the way through. Then I'm going to take my needle back down through the middle. And that's gonna be my first stitch here. I'm actually just gonna repeat that action. I'm gonna come back up on, let's say, the right side of my petal. And then I'm gonna come back down through the middle again. 
And I'm gonna do that one more time on the left side of my petal so that I fully cover um, the pencil marks. Going back down through the middle. So I usually just do three of those satin stitches to make one petal. So I'll keep going. So let's do the outer edge of our flowers. And again, we're just doing the satin stitch, so that means coming up um, on the outside of our petal, usually just above or just on the pencil line. And then we're gonna meet our inner petals. Um, we don't wanna create any white space, so we're gonna try and get as close as we can to those middle petals, and we're just gonna keep up that pattern. So let's go ahead and finish this flower. If you'd like to do some of the other flowers drawn onto your practice hoop, you can feel free to do that. Or if you're ready, let's move on to our rose. Let's start um, by, I have drawn on our five, let's call them anchors. <laughs> Not sure exactly, um, but our five stitches, I guess. I'm gonna come out on the edge of our rose, just a little farther than the pencil line. And I'm gonna go back down right in the middle. So now we're going to bring our needle up through the back, not in the center, but just to the side um, of our center of our flower. We're actually gonna do all of this on top of the fabric, so we're never gonna bring our needle back down. All right, so our first stitch here, I'm going to bring my thread over top of it. I'm not going to go underneath it. The thread is gonna sit on top of it. And I'm going to bring my needle underneath the next stitch. So I've gone under um, that stitch. I'm going to again jump over this next stitch and then take my needle under the next one. So every stitch we're going to jump over and then under. So in the video that you'll see here at the end of me making my hummingbird, I actually do these rose flowers the last at the la at the end. However, I do not recommend it. <laughs> Um, I recommend doing these as one of the very first things because as you can see, so much of it is done over top of the fabric and you have to take your needle um, all the way underneath these stitches which can oftentimes lead to you bringing your needle through some other part of your um, hummingbird. So once you run out of thread, I will just bring my needle I have to go back down because I need to tie it at the back of my fabric. So I'm going to take my needle kind of underneath my flower and just pull it through really gently. I cannot stress how gently you need to do this because the moment that you pull too hard is the moment your flower crunches All right, so you might be asking, how do I know when I'm done my flower? Um, it's definitely not when you run out of thread. It's actually once those five um, anchors or five stitches are totally covered, um, then we'll be done. So I'm gonna go around one more time. You're gonna find it harder to find out where they are, um, where to put your needle back down. So uh, there we go, I am done. Um, to finish it, I'm just going to take my needle down and try to hide it behind my flower. Now again, I cannot stress how gentle you need to be um, so that you do not ruin your flowers. We're going to bring our needle up at the top 
of our leaf. We're gonna make one long stitch. From there, we're gonna come back up to the top. Um, we have the outline of the leaf, so I'm gonna come on the right side, bringing my needle back up really close to my first stitch, um, but a little ways down from, from it. And now, the pattern here is that if you come up on the right side um, of this middle stitch, you're going to go back down on the left and where our first stitch is going to be going down on the left side of our line, um, about halfway down our leaf. Um, next, I'm going to go back to, up to the top of my leaf, but on the left side, bringing my needle through. And since I came up on the left, I'm going to go down on the right at about the same length down my first stitch as I did with my last one. We keep going down the edge of our leaf. So I'm going to go a little ways down on the right. I'm going to cross over to the left. And again, I'm going a little farther down that center line. And that is the end of our practice. So if you feel like you need some refreshers, on any of those stitches. You can feel free to rewatch. Um, you can message me with any questions that you have, but I hope that this practice will make you feel a little more confident and ready to tackle the hummingbird. So you can follow along and watch how I made this hoop. As I said, I highly recommend doing these three roses um, before you start anything else.
starting playing wrong ways to harm him Cause I don't believe in retribution, darling mm -hmm. Oh, you don't want, you don't want this force of attraction working Working against you somewhere down in the future Oh, surely we go on my plausible thing to do here mm -hmm. Oh, don't you fear, cause I'm here and I'm gonna stop you crying mm -hmm. Girl, I'm only trying Oh, don't you fear, cause I'm here and I'm gonna stop you crying Mmm. -hmm.